So I want to give you an idea of how you can book reserved instances or launch spot request. So on the left hand side in instances, as we can see, we have instances, launch templates, but we also have spot requests, reserve instances, dedicated hosts, schedule instances and capacity reservation. So this is where you can book basically all these modes we just talked about. So say for a reserved instance, for example, we can purchase it and then we have to basically shop for it. And so we can say, okay, I want Linux. I want to have default tenancy or dedicated tenancy. If you want to have a dedicated instance, I want to have any or convertible or standard. So are the three different kinds for reserved instances, what type of instance you're willing to book. So maybe it's a C4 X large and I want it to be convertible so I can change it later. I want it for 12 months and then I'm willing to pay upfront partially or not upfront at all. And then I'm sure if you pay upfront, you get more discounts. So we say, okay, I'll pay all upfront. Now I search and here we go. This is how much it will cost me. And then I'll, I'll just add to my cart. And here we go. Now I have to pay to Amazon $3,200. I will obviously not do that. I will just cancel. Um, so next we can go to dedicated host. And this is where you literally uh, book an entire server. And you can see that you can launch your instance on it. You can click on allocate a host and you go through the same process. Uh, but this is quite cumbersome. Next, what we have to do is schedule instances. So this is when we want to schedule and purchase a capacity, but when we need it. So this is when we reserve EC2 instances on a recurring schedule. So we can purchase daily, monthly or weekly reservations. And so we can click on it and then we have to provide a schedule for Amazon to see when we can book our instance and they'll give us the price for it. Spot request is when you want to have a spot instances. So the best way I think to see this is to go to launch an instance. So let's go ahead and launch an instance. And so I'll choose Amazon Linux 2, T2 Micro. And so here we go. When we have a purchasing option, we can request a spot instance and it gives us the current price of the spot instance. So if we look at a T2 Micro pricing, so T2 Micro pricing, if you look at a T2 Micro pricing, Per hour, it's about 0.013 on Linux that I have to pay. But if I look at my spot instance right now, it's 0.003. So it's about a third of the price of the on demand. So the cool thing is that I can say, okay, I'm willing to pay 0.005. And this is what I'm willing to pay the maximum price for my spot instance. And this is pretty cool because we're just going to do some saving, but we run at the risk uh, to lose our instance. We can make a persistent request so that we can always get back the instance if it comes back into the right pricing. And we can say when the request is valid from and to. So it's quite a nice way if you have a big data job again or something that can fail uh, and can resume later on. Uh, spot instances provide really, really good uh, savings. Again, if we scroll down and we go to tenancy, here we have the choice of how running on shared. So this is when we've been doing all along. So we share with other customers of AWS but we can do dedicated to run a dedicated instance, or we can do dedicated host to run a dedicated host. And here we can say whether or not we want to use auto placement and use some kind of affinity. So this is, this is all a lot of options I know, but what I wanted to show you is that they're all accessible. We just haven't explored them uh, very, very well before, but here you are, you know, all the instance types and all the instance launch modes. And now it's up to you to figure out what is your workload in AWS and what pricing makes the most sense for you to have the biggest saving. And at the exam, they will give you scenario questions and you'll have to answer and say, oh, I think because this is a database, it cannot be a spot instance, probably it's something you want to reserve um, for a year or three years. So reserved instance is the right type. Okay, I hope that was helpful and I will see you in the next lecture.